So, doing this today to show how to splice a ski rope because a lot of people seem to be asking me the question. So, I figured I'd do it. Um, so, you want to loop the rope. Give yourself a generous amount. You want to loop the rope in half, like so. <clears throat> and the way that I find works best for me is grab it off so it's about maybe 20 centimeters worth of loop and you've still got all of this doubled up cross it over itself like so and then back through your loop and over the top of it so you end up with that and then all you need to do split your rope open you can use a pen or something else like that, preferably not something sharp that's going to stab through and then just after you've melted the tip of your ski rope, you can't see that very well because of the light but just feed that into the hole you've made and push it in and then push it along and do that till you get all the way down so the end of your loop it's going to start looking a bit funky and strange. Pull it all up nice and tight. So pull it along. Then with your end of your loop here, you might have a, a little bit left over like that. Just pull that back through. And make that kind of a slip knot. But just, that's a bit tight. And then, that's pulled tight, your loop's done, all you need to do after that, push the burnt end back out of your rope and cut it off. But I don't have a pair of scissors with me right now, so we're just going to leave that for a minute. I'll remember to do that when I turn this into an actual length of race rope. So yeah, that is the easiest way that I've found to splice ski rope. It may not be right, but so far it hasn't failed me. It hasn't failed during a race. It hasn't broken there. It hasn't um, done anything that makes me think it's actually making the rope weak. Some people like to feed it through and then back through again and then back through again and then back into the thing and around and over. And it's just, it's a bit of a headache. And this way here just seems to work really, really well and lock itself off. Thanks for watching.